everyone, let's pack my suitcase together and I'll show you what I packed for one whole month in Spain. The most important thing, of course, is my EU passport for pets. And as a puppy, it's especially important that you look out for your rabies vaccination because it must be at least 21 days old. So we made sure that that all fits with our travels. Afterwards, I stole a chewing bone from my mom and like she sorted everything out next to the suitcase and I just like wanted to chew on something already. But yeah, that was fine because then I could like basically chew on it and I wouldn't distract her that much because I'm not that good at packing because I always want to like remove the things from the suitcase instead of packing them. So first we packed our harnesses and the leash and we're kind of like bringing two different harnesses and two different leashes just like so we have different designs depending on our mood and on our weather and yeah I just love them they're just like such a good fit and I always feel safe with them in an environment that I don't really know yet so we definitely brought two of them just to be sure and most important thing of the list, of course, is food. So we brought a small portion for the carry-on luggage, just in case that our suitcase that gets checked in goes missing. But we have like a bigger portion in there for the whole month, so I don't have to switch my food. Afterwards, of course, the snackies are super, super important. My mom packed some salmon cream, which I love. And it's just like an easy way to snack on, just straight from the tube. I wish I could get some already. But she says no and she's the boss. So, And then we of course have some of our chewing bones. I would like to take another one but I had one already. So yeah. But I usually get one a day. And it's just like such a good and easy snack. And these are my bunny ears. <laughs> they taste even even better than my normal chewing bones. But they're also like so 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 much more expensive so they're really more like a special treat and we're also going to bring some of them on the airplane with us afterwards we pack our kong so i can snack from it and i can also eat from it because i'm such a fast eater we just put my dry food in there also so that i eat more slowly and then of course the toothpaste and the toothbrush and my mom and dad brush my teeth every day just so that I get used to it already. And it's just so important for dogs to also brush the teeth because then you don't end up getting problems with them in the end. And then of course the brush and the comb because I get brushed daily. And I'm going to also link the video here where we talked about our routine about brushing and using the comb. So if you have any questions, you can refer to that, of course. And then we have this water bowl, which is super handy. I can also eat from it and we can put water in it. And <laughs> you can see here, I tried to steal the food from my mommy. And <laughs> I just like want to watch her and help her. I'm not interested in the chewing bone anymore. <laughs> but yeah, seems like I don't get any food <laughs> at the moment because I have already just eaten. And then of course we bring lots of poop bags just because we don't know where the nearest pet store is in Spain so we made sure to have enough poop bags for the whole month and then we're also bringing a sweater even though it's warmer in Spain we just want to make sure that we are prepared maybe it gets colder in the evenings and if we want to go to a restaurant or something we just pack it just in case and then of course my toys and we bring different toys just like one toy of each type so we have like my fluffy toy we have something to to, uh, to play with and then we also have my ball and then we also bring a bag to carry me because I'm still a puppy and I'm not allowed to walk too much and um, I mean the bag is not super stylish I have to admit that but it's super super practical and I like to be in there and it's no problem and then we have also this rounded scissors and we're just bringing them in case my parents want to remove some fur around my eyes or also beneath my paws and it's just so handy to have them. And most important thing next to the EU passport, of course, is our pet carrier for the airplane. And unfortunately, we fly with KLM, so the airline. And we are not allowed to bring a bigger pet carrier. These are like the standard sizes for them. 
and we would have preferred to bring a bigger one but I fit in there perfectly so it's fine for me and my parents have also already trained me within the past couple of weeks and got me used to it with lots of foods and snackies so that's gonna work out well even though we're already very excited for our flight and of course we're gonna keep you updated on how it all goes and that's gonna be super super exciting so subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that and then you're gonna be updated about my flight and also about my time in Spain and yeah we're already super super excited on how the flight goes but yeah we're gonna do like an in-depth recap of that and also hopefully being able to help you with that if you are planning on flying with your dog as well so subscribe and then we'll see each other in the next video mm -hmm.